Welcome to Cloud Gaming Battle. As Stadia picks up speed, more and more people will be signing up for Google's premier cloud gaming service. After a dicey launch in November of 2019, more and more AAA games are continually being added to Stadia's library. If you are interested in Stadia and are wondering how to sign up and get playing, we're going to go over just how easy it is to get started with Google Stadia on the PC. Buckle in. One thing that is great with Stadia right off the bat is the fact that it doesn't need an application to run on PC. Stadia games are ran from the browser, so all we need to do is sign up for the service, log in, and start playing from a web browser. I recommend Google Chrome to get the ultimate compatibility within the service since both are owned by Google. Once in the browser, search for Stadia or go to stadia.google.com to get to the Stadia homepage. Once there, click on the Try Now button, either or will do, to start the sign up process. From here, it'll want you to sign in with a Google account. A Google account is required to get started with Stadia, as with most other Google-based software products. After selecting a Google account or creating one, the Stadia wizard will appear and will go through seven setup steps to create your Stadia account. Let's go through them quickly, step by step. The first step will give you the option to integrate your Stadia controller Buddy Pass or Pro Pass if you bought one. You can also change your Google account if you made a mistake in the one you want to use. This is your standard Terms of Service and Legal Policy Review page. Feel free to read it or fly through it like the majority do and hit Yes, I accept the Stadia Terms of Service and hit Next. Your avatar selection will appear as your profile pic for others to see. Unfortunately, you won't be able to upload your own. You will have to select one from the list they provide, at least for now. Find the one that fits you and hit Next. Now it's time to choose a public name for yourself. This will be your name ID for your account for others to see. You only have 15 characters and make sure you don't use your real name for security reasons. Once you hit next, it'll want to confirm your name. Confirm it by hitting confirm. Take your time to go through these options to make sure your privacy needs are met. You can always change these later if you want to change them in the settings. Once these are set, hit next to move on to the next section. Here in the update section, you choose whether you want Google to send you marketing and other Stata related emails. Choose a button and hit next. Here's where you decide if you want to start Stadia Pro or not. With Stadia Pro, you get games at 4K resolution, 5.1 surround sound, the full Destiny 2 collection, a subscription to games that are part of the Pro list, discount on other Stadia games, and all at $9.99 a month. They do want your credit card information though to start the trial. You can cancel any time within the app once you're in. If you hit no thanks, you'll get the free version. This means you'll play games at 1080p resolution, and you'll have to buy the games you want within Stadia, except for the free games. Hitting Start Trial will open up the credit card information screen. Complete your purchase here by putting in your credit card information to start your Pro Trial. After you complete the Pro Trial sign up or the sign up for the free version, you'll be good to go with Stadia. You'll be redirected to the Stadia app homepage from here. You'll be able to get started playing your games now. Check out the icons in the top right hand corner. The first one is the Stadia Controller Edition icon to add a Stadia controller to your account. The next icon to the right of it is the social icon to add and manage your Stadia friends list. You can add users as friends and have them join your party from here. 
The last one is your account info and settings icon. Click on this to manage the app settings and change your account information, including the pro subscription status. You can cancel that from here. Now to check out the games. Click on the store button on the top left of the screen to see what games are available to you. You will notice that some games you will have to buy and some games are already available for pro accounts and some games are available for free to everyone. Let's try out a game. We're gonna start playing Destiny 2 The Collection. The full game and all of its DLC is included as part of the Stadia Pro package. Click on the game and hit Claim at the bottom to add it to your game collection. Then hit Play to start playing the game. Note how fast the game loads. No downloading tremendous amounts of gigabytes of information for the game. No installing. No huge game wait time. It gets you in your game immediately. Don't forget to hook up a controller of your choice and a mic to talk to others in the game. Overall, the setup on Stadia is really easy. Loading up your games is simple as well. I think the biggest problem with Stadia right now is the fact that it's an exclusive cloud gaming service. This means every game you purchase in Stadia can only be played in Stadia. You can't play it under any other gaming platform or service. If you plan to use only Stadia for your gaming needs, Sign up with Pro and build your library. If not, make sure you think twice before making your purchases. I would hate to have to buy multiple games to play under multiple platforms. For the latest news, gameplay, and comparisons on cloud gaming, subscribe and stay tuned here for the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.